Hi there, this is Mike Magnus with Accelerate Marketing. Today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about fighting spam and why it's important to help your business grow. You may ask, what exactly is spam fighting? Why is it a problem to me? Well, if somebody is spamming, which means they're either keyword stuffing, showing duplicate listings of their accounts, listing their business, under a fake or non-existent business, even an unregistered business, this all takes away from your Google rankings in that category. So it's important that we do what we can to make sure, one, we are getting you the highest ranking possible, and two, cleaning up the Google ecosystem so that only reliable and valuable data is on there. So I'm gonna walk you through these four kinds of spam that is out there give you a little bit of overview of what they are, and then tell you a little bit about what we do. So the first one, keyword stuffing. If you think about it, this is simply a business using the same words over and over again in their ads. Try to get as many hits on those keywords as possible. In this example, you see that they use software development and consulting over and over again. Their idea is that as people hit on that word, when they search for it, it's gonna increase their Google ranking. Luckily, uh, we can fight that fairly easily, get that particular account removed, and Google taking a pretty dim view of companies that are doing this nowadays. So this, it, that really helps us in our fight. Next is a duplicate listing. There's a few reasons why this happens. One, just could be a problem with how the account was set up. Uh, some businesses set up one account and they go back and set up another account, not realizing that the first account was was set up and it creates a duplicate listing. Third-party data sources uh, will pull uh, will pull in from Google, creating a duplicate account as well. Now, what this causes, especially if this is your business, is it could cause confusion. Uh, who should I call? Uh, which business is right? Which business should I review? I mean, I mean, we want to make sure that there's only one listing for your business and one listing for every business, so that customers don't get confused on who they need to interact with, and at the end of the day, give you that five-star review. Next is fake reviews. And I'm sure everybody knows what this is. Um, simply put, it's somebody making a fake review. Now, as you can see in this particular case, uh, all these reviews came in on the same day. They're fairly consistent in the wording that they used, and they're all five-star. When we see things like this, we definitely dispute those with Google. This is something that clearly shows that someone is trying to boost up their Google rating and boost up their reviews. So we work with Google to make sure that these are taken down and that only the appropriate and accurate reviews are left on the account. And finally, an unregistered business. So this is where someone has registered a business on Google Map that really isn't even there. It could be to disrupt other bu similar businesses in the area, or they're trying to uh, manipulate uh, rankings for a business that doesn't even exist. Same thing in this particular type of spam, we work with Google to get them taken down and to uh, make sure that only accurate businesses are displayed on Google Maps. And I wanted to give you like a real life example of the work that we do to help businesses improve their rankings. ABC Property Company, as you can see here, when they came on service with us, they were ranked 51 in Google searches. So that means there was 50 businesses like theirs above them that would show up before even the customer saw them. When we started looking at it, we saw that their competitors had spam, keyword stuffing, uh, fake reviews, some didn't even, weren't even real businesses. So we worked with Google to get those uh, listings removed and have only clean, accurate companies as part of the search that was included in this business type. And as you can see, in just a few weeks, we, we took that business from 51 to six. So now, that pretty much means that you're on the, the main page when somebody types in what kind of uh, company they're looking for and, and if it's yours. So we talked a bit about what these are, but really, why do we fight this for you? I mean, we wanna make sure that there's good data in the Google ecosystem. This helps your business show up more. It gives customers more trust in what they're seeing when their search pops up and more trust in your business and the industry. We want to track those that are bad so that they get removed and they don't show up again. The last thing we want to do is work to get bad listings 
removed just to have them pop up again. So we make sure that that doesn't happen. And we consistently are vigilant in removing bad businesses that pop up and could hurt you in your rankings. And finally, we protect and defend your brand. That's by ensuring that your site has rich content in it, it can be found easily, and that the bad businesses that impact you are taken out. So when you think about spam fighting and the value added ads, the value add, it adds back to your business, it's, it's really getting you more visibility, more search results back uh, in your favor when a customer looks for your particular business or particular industry. So if you have any questions or if you're interested in the spam fighting service, reach out to us. We're happy to help. Thanks so much.